Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Ashley, it was great to see you today. What a beautiful house. Great location too, by the way. Uh, office fireplace, beautiful little fireplace, working set of vented gas logs. Um, doesn't have a controller in a traditional sense. So in other words, no pilot. You're actually using this gas key on the left hand side to operate the, the gas to turn it on, turn it off. Remember, since there's no pilot, you want to put a light in there. You know, one of those long handled bics, that's what I use. The light in there first and then turn the, the gas on and that'll activate the, uh, the logs for you. Remember to keep this damper open. Uh, you don't want to forget to and close it, fire up those logs and fill the house up with carbon monoxide. Flu system looks good, no problems with that. Uh, sitting room, beautiful, beautiful fireplace, herringbone back panel uh, back here. These, these, uh, this design in here is just beautiful. You can see it, here's a little close up. Working damper, no problem. Wood burner with a gas log lighter. Again, no pilot with these. We're using a key valve. Remember to take the keys out when you're not using them, just so somebody doesn't turn them on, think that they, that they don't do anything, and fill the house up with. Uh, natural gas. You don't want an explosion, that's for sure. That was in the news today, by the way, a gas explosion, natural gas. Uh, I think it was in Gastonia, someplace. Uh, view of the flu system, looks great, no problems. Uh, living room fireplace, working vented gas logs, beautiful fireplace. Remember to keep the damper open, view of the flu system there. Uh, outdoor fireplace, again with the herringbone pattern like that. No damper, no problem. Don't need a damper in the uh, outdoor fireplace features. The, the reason for that is um, the dampers are strictly to keep block the heat and air conditioning from venting out of a room, out of a living space, and up the chimney. Well, this is all outdoors, so of course that wouldn't pertain. Uh, using a double flue system in here, perfectly okay. Uh, let's go up on top. Uh, this is the only one with a chimney cap. The sitting room has a chimney cap on it. All the other uh, chimneys have uh, no, no chimney caps on them. You can see that. Uh, caps are, are, are suggested. They're not required. Remember putting caps on. Uh, you're going to use your roofer to do that because this is a slate roof. You don't want anybody just walking around milly-nilly on this slate, cracking your slate. So. If you decide to put caps on in a later date, uh, you would definitely use your roofing contractor for that. The one that came and made the inspection would be your best choice. Folks have questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.